Uh, trigger points are uh, little knots or nodules, or they can actually vary in size a little bit bigger, a little bit larger, and sometimes in clusters. Trigger points are areas of dysfunction in muscles. They're palpable, local, tender knots within a taut band of muscle. And trigger points uh, develop because the muscle often is under extraordinary load. Either, for example, uh, it's an unconditioned muscle and it's been overworked, or you, you've worked uh, in, a, in a way in the gym, for example, in a way that wasn't efficient, and you've caused a little area of that muscle to contract. Now, the trigger points themselves are localized little areas of contraction, uh, little knots that form inside the muscle, and they make the whole muscle inefficient. So when there's a trigger point in a muscle, uh, it creates inefficiency. It means the muscle can't fully load properly, and of course that has an effect on the antagonist muscle as well. Trigger points develop um, uh, for a range of reasons, um, and um, they, their presence also affects the peripheral and central nervous system. Uh, there's a well-known uh, neurophysiological uh, issue called uh, peripheral sensitization. And when a trigger point is there for more than two or three days, we start getting some changes in the peripheral nervous system. And if they're left there for longer, we get something called central sensitization, which can affect uh, other areas of the spinal cord. It lowers the threshold potential for pain. So uh, patients that have an existing problem are more likely to get other problems underneath.